What up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tuck Notes Beginner Stock Talk. My name's Tuck, and tonight we will be talking about Tesla stock. Yes, again, I love it. Can't get enough of it. Um, and so coming up, we're going to talk about some economic, uh, important economic data and how it's related to inflation and how it could affect Tesla stock moving forward. And are we going to see a shakeup um, in leadership? Um, you know, there was a new tweet that came out uh, a couple of days ago from Elon Musk stating, um, I'm thinking about quitting my job and becoming an influencer. So um, we'll go over and talk about, you know, what would happen in general and um, what to expect uh moving forward and the tesla's price action um moving forward so right now <clears throat> tesla is sitting at one thousand seventeen dollars and nineteen cents it's a 1.5 percent which is fifteen dollars and ninety cents today we we went below a thousand dollars not once but twice in the morning and in the afternoon it dipped below a thousand um, one was at 9.85 in the end. I, for, I didn't see the one in the afternoon. I missed it. Um, Got to set up those buy prices. Um, but today, uh, yeah, it went below under $990. I told you that. But the crucial uh, price that we want to keep it at is $1,000. Uh, no matter what happens with Tesla um, in the next coming weeks and months uh but yesterday's video uh we were talking about inflation numbers and for november and so this is gonna make it didn't make any sense to me but i'm gonna say it anyways because it might make sense to some people that uh understand things more than i do but the cpi uh was 6.08 and the forecast was 6.7%. The court inflate inflammation inflammation inflation was 0.5% and the forecast was 0.5%. The consumer price index was 0.8% and we got and the forecast was 0.7. So in summary, what is that what the hell does that mean? We're going to have a high inflation coming up. That's what it means. And we haven't seen these numbers since 1982. 1982. The overall stock market's seen kind of in a neutral, slightly bullish uh, projection. Um, there's big companies like Microsoft and Apple that are doing really well today. Uh, some fintechs sold off. Going into 2022, uh, you have to keep in mind, potentially, this is a big, this was one of the key things out of the videos, and I was taking my notes, but is that there is going to be, I have to read this, so I got to tell it to you, uh, potentially a rate hike in the coming up in 2022, rate height, like the rate percentage height going up. It took me a while to, to figure it out. And so knowing uh, this is the most important thing to know about inflation when it comes to numbers, that what I just said. Now, talking about Elon Musk, uh, yesterday we saw a significant drop off. I knew it uh, in Tesla. When you see all those red dots just going down and down and beating every green, that's him selling off. And he sold off more than nine hundred million uh, thousand dollars. And he also exercised his options of buying some more Tesla shares. Maybe that's a good clue. I don't know. Yesterday, he, he you know, uh, on Twitter, he was asked, or he wasn't asked, but he he asked if, you know, he should be a uh, influencer and just drop Tesla and quit. And uh, personally, the person that I I get my notes from. What he thinks, or she thinks, or they think, and what I think personally is that Tesla's gonna has gonna have a fantastic. It has a fantastic foundation laid down by uh, him, 
Elon Musk. And if someone comes in new, they definitely uh, have something to build upon and grow exponentially. Uh, the hardest thing, though, is to have that solid, firm foundation. you got to have it. Tesla's great. And if someone can come in and all they have to do is just, you know, expansion and growth, then okay. Uh, you know, what do we have? We got a, a gigafactory in Europe opening up. We have Shanghai that's open. And we have Texas that's, I think, open. I'm not sure. And you compare this to other uh, big tech uh, companies like Apple, Steve Jobs, he did a great job. Uh, he hired new board members and CEOs. And what happened? They all turned on him and they fired him. A Apple getting as close, get, Apple's getting close to $3 trillion right now. And Steve Cook as is the name of the current person of what Steve Jobs is. I don't know who Steve Cook is, but, uh, you know, it'd be great. You, you never know. Elon could just say later, guys, peace out. I'm going to Mars and leave, leaves for 10 years or something. You know, I don't know. You never know. Um, but it would be great to have him here. And Microsoft also is another example that, uh, you know, there was a scandal and, uh, my man, or the dude, not my man, but um, I forgot his name, stepped down and uh, the company still went successful. And these are all good examples of uh, successful companies going through transitions. Um, and at this moment, I ask for you guys to subscribe to my channel and four of you did. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And all of you viewers, I appreciate that. All of your views, unbelievable. You guys are really helping. I love it. Uh, so let's get into the price action for Tesla. So Tesla below a thousand dollars today in the morning, and I told you in the afternoon, uh, it went down to nine eighty five, but it's getting bought back up quicker and quicker, more more quick and more quicker and quicker. Um, every time it drops below a thousand, Elon Musk the other day sold between twenty and thirty percent of his. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. Elon Musk still has twenty to thirty percent of his shares to sell. So hopefully he does it before the end of 2021. And an important key level to watch out is the $1,000 price limit or price mark. The bulls are holding strong, but uh, definitely uh, we can bounce back higher and higher. And after Elon completes selling off his shares, you know, Tesla can slowly grind its way back up to $1,200 is the prediction. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram. I, uh, I post a ton on Twitter of Elon. So uh, you can follow me on there at, at TuckerMLO. Hope you guys have a great night and peace out.